Tonight, more members of the local Red Cross are on the way to Texas and Louisiana to help people in the storm's path. New 6's Carolina Cardona spoke with one of those volunteers today, and she tells us he has been called on to help in many other disasters in the past. Like with every relief operation that we have, we're going into the unknown. John Lanzetti is less than 24 hours away from arriving in Houston, Texas, from where he'll then travel to the Louisiana border to assist the victims of Hurricane Laura. The retired 65-year-old is a volunteer with the Red Cross and does damage assessment. Well, the team that I'm on, we go out there, we're the first team in for the Red Cross, both at home and out there in disaster relief operations. So we really don't know what we're getting into. But John is no stranger to going on missions. He was with the U.S. Air Force for 20 years. The past five years have been dedicated to helping others as a Red Cross volunteer. When we do damage assessment, we're seeing the people a lot of times for the first time when they've either gotten back into their homes or they've actually weathered out a storm. And usually it's not a pleasant situation. One of those situations was when he encountered a Texas Ranger whose home had been wiped out by a river. And he goes, yeah, that was my home there. I said, where you been at, man? He goes, well, I've been helping people out for the last 72 hours. This big six foot eight guy looks at me and just breaks down. I mean, he just lost it. And that was probably one of the most memorable moments I've ever had. The Red Cross Central Florida region is deploying 21 volunteers to assist in disaster relief operations. On Tuesday, News 6 caught up with two volunteers as they were getting ready to fly out to Texas and to Louisiana. What does it mean for you personally to be able to go out there and do your part as a Red Cross volunteer? When you're there as a Red Cross responder, you're able to provide that comfort to that individual and show them that little light at the end of the tunnel, that little ray of hope. It's very self-satisfying, if you will, to, to take yourself and put yourself out there for somebody else. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6.